Hi everyone, good morning. So I thought I'd take the time to uh, tell everyone how I started in the beauty and fashion industries. So here it is. Hi, I'm Trish. I'm a 52 year old Filipino American living in the Algarve, Portugal. And here's a glimpse into my life. So I graduated from BU in 1993, but that first semester uh, of my senior year, I actually studied abroad in London, England, and I did this um, BU London internship program, and I was actually working at CNN in London, and um, it's because I was a journalism major, and I thought, okay, maybe I'll be a broadcast journalist. So that first semester, I went abroad, and I had a great experience working at CNN, and I, and I loved it, but I also found it uh, kind of lonely because I was writing my stories and working with one producer so it was it was team but it was really one-on-one -on -one. and since I'm a very outgoing social person I kind of had to reevaluate what I wanted to do because I didn't see myself having a career like that where I was just working with one person for the most for you know the rest of my life I really wanted to work with lots of people and on a team so um, it was also at that time so crazy that this movie Boomerang came out and this is with um, Eddie Murphy and Halle Berry and Robin Givens um, and I happened to be, I happened to watch it one, I think I was in London watching this movie and it was about the beauty and fashion industry and I was like, that's what I want to do. <laughs> watching Robin Givens and Halle Berry when she was you know, so this is like one of her first movies. Um, and I was like, this is incredible and this is what I wanna do. So when I returned to the US and Boston, my second semester senior year, I kind of just threw myself into advertising. I did an internship at Hill Holiday in, in Boston. Um, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go into advertising. So when I graduated, I moved to New York City. Um, I pounded the pavement and I worked with a whole bunch of different recruiters, headhunters that were recruiting for, you know, entry level positions in the advertising agency. And I got mine, crazily enough, at Gray Advertising, which is, um, you know, it was a huge advertising agency in New York City. And they placed me in uh, Procter & Gamble's Europe Cost Fragrances account. So crazy, right? It's almost like you you want it, you believe it, and it happens because it fell in my lap and I ended up working in the beauty industry in New York City uh, for Gray Advertising for Procter & Gamble, Euro, it was their European Fragrances Division. And my first boss, Mark, uh, was amazing. Um, shout out to him. Oh, <laughs> there's Cleo in the back. Um, because he really helped me. He So you start off, I started off as a secretary um, or account coordinator, but I, you know, I had to take his calls and organize his schedules and everything, but he really was an advocate for me uh, to get promoted. And um, so I mean, I'm just, oh, I'm so grateful to Mark. Um, he actually even wrote one of my Wharton recommendations and I ended up going to Wharton, but that's, it's another, you know, wonderful thing. But anyway, long story short, um, that's how I got my start. Um, and then eventually I moved on, they promoted me into CoverGirl, and then I moved on to Victoria's Secret, went to Wharton, and then I graduated and I got my job at L'Oreal. Um, but I'll continue on and on, but I mean, amazing. Like I just decided that I wanted to work in the beauty industry, you know, went to Headhunters and the, you know, I got offered for this entry level position and I started off as a secretary but I definitely had people like my boss Mark that advocated for me um, so I'm grateful as obviously I didn't do it alone um, but you know I hope this gives encouragement that if you want something it can happen it can happen so anyway hopefully it's inspiring um, inspiring Saturday for you okay I'll talk to you soon have a great day have a great weekend. Bye.